All right, so next up in part three is the appearance settings or branding of your app. Uh, this is the overall look and feel of your app. So you can do this after adding components or before, um, and it's updated through the appearance feature on the right-hand toolbar. So you'll notice how all of the screens that I click on here, they've got pink buttons, they've got specific fonts and sizing uh, for each different section. That's all configured through the appearance settings right here. So it's a little paintbrush icon, it's right under the components icon. So by clicking on that, the appearance settings slide right out and you can customize them by clicking on the drop downs. So you can see we can change the background color, we can change the font families, you can also add a custom fonts. So if you want to do that, you will be able to list your font here. Um, if you have a custom font, I recommend uploading it uh, to the file manager, but we'll go over that in greater detail later. So you can update the size, font colors, weight, text colors, um, and all that good stuff. So by closing that little drop down, you can switch to a different family. So we can go into the headings and select the different options for the headings. So you're just gonna do this for basically every option that's configurable right here. Uh, I know many organizations have a brand guide that they like to follow and we'll typically use this as a reference for the colors, uh, for things like fonts, links, headings, buttons, layouts, things like that. Uh, but by no means is that a requirement. And then some people also like to go a bit off book for their apps because, uh, you know, it's something different that your brand might not usually do. Um, not only are the components customizable based on the content you want to fill them with, but they're also customizable in terms of appearance. Um, so let's take a look at a button somewhere. I'm not there. Here we go. Uh, so I know the speakers page has some buttons. And if we click on the button right there, the actions open. But if we go ahead and click on the appearance and go down to the button section right here, if I wanted to change the button color, I can go ahead and change it to something like blue that's super obvious and hit apply changes. So now I should have a blue button. There you go. So select apply changes whenever you wanna see a change reflected on the previewer right here. Um, if you don't know what some of these options are, that's totally okay. It's probably because we haven't reached that level of customization just yet. Uh, we'll cover them in more detail in intermediate level tutorials. Uh, but for now, you can go ahead and customize the entire look and feel of your app by playing around with the appearance settings right over here. Um, check out our next video on menu settings.